Hi there, hope you're all doing well. This week I picked the Scabix Plague Pack box out of my pile of potential. And since there are six minis in this box, I just went for Scabic himself for the video, as he has everything all of the other minis have on him anyway. So this will cover everything in the box. It was black and white Zenith 3 Primes, and I get started with Gung Ho Green for all of the clothing. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You could also join Discord using the link in the description, where you can share anything you have been working on. To add some visual interest and shadows to the clothing, I washed everything with Magi Purple Wash. With the wash now dry, I came back in with Gun Ho Green again and added in that mid-tone. I'm not too fussed if I don't get full coverage on some of the larger areas, as it just adds a more grimy look as that purple coming back through. Finishing off the robes now, I went around with Green Beret and brought up all of the edges and parts that are getting hit by the light the most. Next up, I get started on the skin with Argonaut skin as the base color.
For the first highlight on the skin, I used Aries Flesh, just to bring up all of those raised and most pronounced parts. Before finishing the skin off, I grabbed Burnt Umber and got the Staff and Muddy Ground base coated. Now to finish the skin off, I went over the sharpest of edges with Griffin Claw. Getting all of the bone parts done now, I started off going over them with Dragon Fang. Adding a first highlight to the bones and getting the bubbles in the base done, I use Skeleton Legion. For the tips of the bones and dotted in his eyes, I went with Ivory Tusk. I want the wood to look more grey in colour in the end, so I went over all of the raised grain with Temple Stone. This helps just sort of bridge the gap between the grey and the brown towards the end. Now for something I don't normally do until the end of the mini, I grabbed steampunk copper and went over all of the metal parts in the mini, just leaving the broken pipe on the base.
Geordi pipe on the base, I used rough iron. This has a lot of brown into that mix, so it doesn't stand out too much against the mini once everything is finished. <coughs> Adding a few details and chipping on the metal parts, I used plate armor. Now the pipe is finished, I grabbed black lotus express color, I went over all of the solid ground on the base. Just, just ties him into that dark sewer look. <laughs> Next up, I went over the liquid smoke and warp stone with orc skin express color, which came out far better than I thought it would. I was originally planning on painting the smoke black and leaving this green in the recesses, but I think the actual pure green looks nicer. Finishing up the staff and the stones on the base, I grabbed reddish grey, brought up all of the edges of the staff and the random parts of the stones. Now onto a small wash of flesh wash over the copper parts and skin. This is thinned down a fair bit. I'm just aiming to tint that copper and darken down the recesses a bit more. Since this isn't a full army color scheme, I'm just going to paint the base rim black. I spotted the verdigris paint on my shelf when I picked up the black, so I grabbed that and thought I'd give it a go on the copper parts. And that will be it for Scabic. I added some gloss varnish to the warp zone and the water. This just adds a little bit more visual interest and separates it from the smoke. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You could also join Discord using the link in the description, where you can share anything you have been working on. As always, if you want a closer look at this mini, check out my Instagram page. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.